Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Workshop Simulator. And we're back here doing the uh, big duty. This is like one of the biggest jobs here. And this job is very simple. It is going to be uh, Grandma's sewing box. So first things first, let's go ahead and grab our screws. Let's make sure that we have all these screws pulled out here. It's going to be very, very much a big project. Now, this is coming off, right, as a brown box, right? We obviously can see it for ourselves. It's a brown colored box. And we could definitely, if we wanted to, keep it brown. Or we could do something else with it. Maybe have different kinds of colors rolling around with it. I don't know. Maybe Grandma would like that. Um, not sure. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know how this Grandma rolls. Some Grandmas are very basic. Like, some Grandmas are like, don't give me the fancy stuff. Give me the stuff that is just simple, right? They like to keep it simple sometimes. And maybe I can keep it simple with this grandma. Maybe she would be okay with that. Or maybe, you know, she she's like a very colorful box. I don't know. I'll make that decision when we get to the painting. Um, but I'm kind of leaning towards simple, right? Simple and nice brown, maybe, possibly. Who knows? Let's get up here. Oops, sorry. Nope. Right there. Is it, was it up here? Where was it? Up here? No? No? Okay. Uh, I know what I do need to take out is these. Let's get those. There we go. Take that out. Take that out. Work from the top. Go to the bottom. Take that off now. Wonderful. And work from the bottom now. Yeah, so this is the biggest project that we have done yet. This is 168 different items. I don't know how many different... Looks like I have multiple trays. You can see one, two, three, four, like a ton of trays here. I don't know how many items I'm going to have to sand. <laughs> I don't know how many items I'm going to have to paint. Uh, but I'm a little... Oh my god, look at all the screws here. I am. I, I will say I am a little nervous. 100% here. There we go. With the inside? No, oh, inside good. Inside good, inside bad. Okay, maybe I need a different thing here. Oh, what is this? This is nails. Oh, that's screws. Okay, yeah, I thought there was a screw here. There we go. Screw done there. Take the knobs off. Wonderful. Take the bottom bracket off. Wonderful. Kind of work through in here, right? Kind of go more in. More in, not more on. There we go. Take that off. That off. And then take that off. Oh, my God. This is probably the hardest part is, like, just laying down and making sure that you hit right on the button there. There we go. Okay, let's unscrew this now. Putting it back together is not a tall a tall order to, you know, tall task. Tall order to task. Ta tall task to order tall. Not a big order to it's not, it's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal to put it back together, but taking apart seems to be kind of the most, uh, the hardest thing to do here. There we go. Did we do that? Hey, just zoom in. There we go. That makes it so much easier. Look at that little thing right there. Didn't even pull that one out. There we go. Pull that out. Uh, didn't pull that one out either. No. Didn't know I need like exact precision to play this game, but you do. You do need exact precision here. There we go. Yeah, so I think I'm going to try to just do a complete brown here. Yeah, a nice complete brown for this sewing box will be nice. And it will be actually a little bit darker than what it was already previously, right? There we go. There we go. Almost done. Pull that out. There we go. Pull this out as well. Get the doors off. There we go. Pull the middle piece out. Okay, wait a sec. Why isn't this one coming out? That door. Oh, we have to go on the inside here. There we go. Inside. Inside. Swip it around. You never know, right? You never know how much little tiny components are in these. Um, oh, look, it's like floating now. How funny. Are in these. Uh, that way up there. Is that where it's at? Way up here? Where is this at? No? Anywhere? Hello? Oh, I see. Hinges. The hinges, yeah? How do we get the hinges? From the bottom? Do we have to get a spanner out? No, you just have to pull it out. I see. That is so freaking small, dude. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, so small. Okay, take that out. Take that out. And then... I know I'm like kind of like covering it. I wish I could like put it centered in front of me here. But it is what it is there. 
there and then the tiny ones down here they're perfect okay wow that was a lot that was a lot to handle now where are we gonna stand when we actually clean this 58 items okay wonderful hopefully this won't go too too long there we go nice sewing box i think we all can agree though with the child here that there was a time you know when growing up we all had like that we all had like whether it was mom whether it was grandma whoever it was there was a little like tin box right there was a little tin can canister however you want to say it where we thought there was cookies like my great grandmother uh she and to to kind of put it in perspective for you like my great grandmother died a couple years ago so my great grandmother died when i was 24 right and my great grandmother was 84 so do the math right um not a lot of people get to see their great grand anything um but i did i grew up with my great grandmother she was almost like a grandmother to me right like like a, well she was a grandmother but like a you know like a right like a regular grandmother i don't know like when I was, I don't know, when I was, I, when I was 10, she was 70, you know? So, and because the whole story with that is, is very simple. I was born in 1995. My mom was born in 1975. My grandmother was born in 1955. And my uh, great grandmother was born in 1935, so we were all exactly that many years apart all the time. So if I were to celebrate, let's say I was turning 21, right? This was like almost half a decade ago now, but let's say I was turning 21, and that would mean that my mom was turning 41. And that my grandma was turning 61. And that my great grandma was turning 81. We were all turning, you know, we were all flipping that number on the same year every year. So it was kind of easy for all of us to know uh, how old we were um, all the time, constantly, right? Now that I'm going to be 27, you can probably guess my mom is going to be 47. Grandma is going to be 67. And my great grandma would have been 87, right? So. Anyways, I don't know where I was going with that, but I just wanted to, I don't know, share that. Anyways, uh, she, my great grandmother, she had, she had a canister. She absolutely did. She had one of those like nice little tin canisters and they were like the old ones, dude. They were like super, super old. Like, like you were like maybe uh, afraid to touch it because like you might possibly need to get a tetanus shot afterwards. Like it was like old real deal metals, rusted metal stuff. But that's where like the cookies were in the and the lemon squares were all were all at, dude. Um, and it was true, like there was lemon squares and there was like oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal cookies were one of like her favorite cookies, you know. Oatmeal cookies and lemon squares. Like I know it's like a very old person-y thing to do, but that's what they had. And so as a child, you think that, oh, you put your hand in and you get a chocolate chip cookie or you get a chocolate cookie. You don't uh, as a child get to appreciate or you don't I say get to you don't appreciate what a lemon square is right you're like oh this is this is disgusting i don't want a lemon square now all these years later i'm like i would take a nice lemon square serve it up on a plate please um and then that sa the same thing goes for uh oatmeal cookie like as a kid you're like oh i don't want oatmeal cookie i don't want no raisin oatmeal cookies no i want a chocolate chip cookie now i would like to take a nice raisin cookie like that's fine <laughs> I, I i have no problem with an oatmeal cookie <laughs> you know so it's just funny um to think about i miss her i do miss her i do have to say i miss her but uh she used to have a <laughs> she used to have a bird i don't know what kind of bird it was it's like a it was a bird that i swear to god lived for like 30 years that bird at one point I think, I think it lived to be like 30 years old or something. Insane, right? Insane. But the thing about the bird is it was like a green, it was a green bird. I don't want to say it was like a parrot because I don't think it was a parrot. But it was like a, um, it was a green bird and it talked. That was the best part, right? It talked. It talked to you. 
Now, I never could understand that. I still, as is, at, you know, in this point in my life, still don't understand how birds talk. <laughs> some birds, not all birds, but, you know, some birds can literally speak English to you if you teach them how to say a word, right? And obviously my grandmother over the over the 30 year span that she had this bird, which is almost like a lifetime, right? If you get a bird, apparently you get certain birds, certain birds will like be there for almost your entire life, which that's a huge respons responsibility out of its own self. But she taught this bird how to talk. And so as a kid, when I went over to her house a lot, um, I, you know, I thought it was the coolest thing. I still do, dude. I still think it's the coolest thing to this day. If anyone has a bird that can talk, I, I, it just, it's a fascinating thing. I don't know why it fascinates me, but it fascinates me. I, I have to say it's, it's pretty, pretty damn cool. You know, there we go. We have five trays. Oh my God. This is going to be disgustingly long. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's okay. No, no, no. Okay. That's next. Okay. Next. Uh, I guess this is next. Yeah. So that was fun to know, to, to know. The name of the bird was called Mickey. Yeah, and Mickey. Mickey was a... Uh... He was... He... The funny thing was, is like he would be like... Like you walk through the door, and he thought he was a jokester. That's the thing, dude. It's like the birds even picked up personalities. The bird thought he was a jokester. And for some reason, he thought he was a duck. And that's funny. Now, if a bird thinks he's a duck, that's hilarious. Now, anytime someone would walk through the door, some, you know, Mickey would say, hello. <laughs> You're like, excuse me, who was that? Grandma, is there someone here? No, it's just a bird. Oh, okay. But, you know, just hello. Like, whoa. Creepy, right? And then, like, you'd be sitting there having a conversation. And out of nowhere, for no reason at all, like, we'd be watching, like, The Price is Right with Bob Barker. And, like, the bird just out of nowhere will just scream, quack, quack, I'm a duck. Now, as a child, I couldn't enjoy this comedic effect. But as an adult, that shit is funny. <laughs> that shit is so funny. <laughs> I found it so hilarious. This little bird, on its own time, Whenever it wanted to, whenever it felt like, I guess, like the entertainment value of its own life was starting to diminish, like they needed, like the bird needed to just like pump it into gear and say, you know what? I'm tired of being bored. Quack, quack. I'm a freaking duck. Now, I don't know if the bird tried to just wanted to get a reaction out of people because people would laugh and be like, that's funny. That bird thinks he's a duck, you know? I don't know what was going on in Mickey's head, but Mickey... He was a smart bird. He never came out of his cage, though. I will say. He never came out. He was not a sociable type. Um, you could even say he wasn't even friendly. Like, he would, he would bitch slap you. He would bite you if you came near him. You feed him. He sits there. He says hello to you. He says, quack, quack, I'm a duck. And then he said some other things, right? And he would just go on. And you could almost have a conversation with the bird. But the only problem is, is that the bird only knew so many words. So your conversation would just be a full loop. <laughs> but still for a bird, it's damn impressive, dude. It's very, very impressive. At least to me it is. I find it impressive. I don't know. You could probably, you probably guess that it doesn't take a lot to impress me. Not really. <laughs> Not really at all. Look at this. I have to actually scrub this tiny little nail. Are you kidding me, dude? You're joking. What? Why do I just scrub this nail all of a sudden? Give me the power washer. I don't want to do that. Little hatchet job. Anyways, this is a very, very big project with a lot of little tiny pieces. So I'll probably just go ahead and bring it back when I uh, get to that point where, I don't know, we're ready to uh, to move on to the next stage. All right, so uh, we're back now with the painting, and I just realized that you can actually buy a spray can for $20. Now, I did want to save up for the big boy stuff, but then we do have a little bit of extra here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the spray can, and we're going to unlock it, and we're going to see how efficient this really is.
Um, hey, subscriber. Hey, Jay Awesome. Thank you for the subscription. Is it more efficient? I think it depends. I think it depends on what item you're working with. But overall, it might still feel like the hand brush still. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so we have this. At least we got for $20. That's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, anyways. All right, so I have about 46 pieces that I'm going to paint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all this brown, like I said. I think this entire, like, sewing basket will look very, very good brown. It kind of give it the original estate, and that's the, that's the way I'm going with this right now. So... Yeah, I hope you guys like this color. It's not a bad brown. It is not a bad brown after all. And I think it will look good uh, once it's all completely done. But I'll show you as we assemble it here in a sec. Okay, so the time has come to finally put this thing together. Yeah, it's been a long time. It took me forever to sand, to wash, and to paint. Um, all the little pieces luckily I cut it for you guys right obviously but uh, yeah that was a lot of uh, that was a lot of work it probably was sitting here took, took me yeah, about like 30 40 minutes I think give or take so having those big machines are going to become a uh, big deal in the future um, and I did buy the spray can but the spray can I don't know it wasn't as efficient as I thought it was going to be um, it, I kind of was going back and forth between the spray can and the paintbrush itself, but yeah, it's fine. That is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. There we are. But this is the fun part, right? Um, I did color the the box all brown, back to brown, and I think that was a smart idea. Like, I, well, I mean, smart idea, but I think it was a good idea. Um, it looks good. It just looks. It looks just redone. It looks remodeled. Re re it just looks fresher, right? It looks nice and fresh. And uh, grandmother, or somebody's grandmother, is going to love this 100%. I was thinking of doing weird colors, but I, I prevented it. I was like, nope, nope, nope. I think uh, traditional, just nice brown as it was when it came in. I think that would, I think the client would be uh, happy about it. So that is, is what it is. Now let me just put all this stuff back on. How much stuff do we have? About halfway there. But yeah, that was a lot of pieces, a lot of tiny little pieces that I had to, uh, I think the worst part was the sanding that again, it, it goes back to the whole sanding thing. I did tell you that I was going to save up for that sandblaster, but, um, there's a, uh, there's an actual sanding tool, like kind of how I bought the, um, spray can. There's another sand, uh, like a sand tool that you can buy for like $25. Um, but if it, if it's anything like the, the spray can, the efficiency is going to be just the same as just the regular hand sand. Uh, was it? I guess sandpaper you use. It's going to be the same. So maybe I don't know. Maybe I, I'm afraid. That's why I'm a little like eh, resisting against the idea of maybe using or uh, buying that little additional tool. I'll probably will end up buying that additional tool first, just because, just to see how it is, right? But I'm a little worried. Will not. Will not lie but look at this wow it looks so good it does it looks fantastic all right put it in sorry spanner put it in fantastic there we go we'll go on the other side and do that too cool and then yep place all these i think this is all gonna take screws though it does and these are like i guess this is uh well i guess this kind of like holds all the pieces together i was like oh maybe this is like a decorative side panel thing that they have but kind of holds the drawers together in a way right I don't know if that's their functionality, but it kind of looks like it. it might be just for decoration on the side, too. All right. Place that in. Great job. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> At least this is not like a, another game where it's like uh, kind of like our mechanics simulator where you have to like build up your skills on how fast you drill. You basically kind of do all this pretty fast anyways. The only long part is, is just taking care of each piece individually. That's the long part of the game. We go at least for right now probably will change once we unlock new items and things like that and they're still continuing to do updates on this game there's a few bugs for sure and they are updating the game as we go through but hey look at that look at that looking freaking good looking fantastic awesome uh now i will say i think i deserve so much money for this basket because it took me forever <laughs> 
but I don't think I, I think it was like $35 I think I got from it I don't even know but was not worth that much I don't think anyways I'm sure the grandmother will be happy all right let's end the day we are now going to the next day which is now September 7th very well so this is from our grandma so Mabel uh good morning your email about the sextant you repaired Oh, so that's what it is. Truly fascinating. I knew Jacob spent some time on the sea, and I knew he was a little old-fashioned. But to actually navigate this with the stars, your grandpa was a man of many talents. Thank you for taking your time to make your grandma smile again. I really appreciate it. Perhaps if you're looking for other things to fix up, we could give you a new shine to some other things of Jacob's that bring back warm memories. Do you remember the old sword we used to have in a case? I hung it above the fireplace, not really knowing where else to put it. Remember Marcy wanting to take the thing down when you were little, saying you might hurt yourself. <laughs> Nonsense, though. You were a bright boy. No way you would have hurt yourself. It was unfortunately uh, outside in its case when I found... It was outside its case when I found it after so many years, and it rusted all over. Dang. Leaky ceiling, right? Thank you for fixing it that last... Uh, thank you for fixing that last summer. Oh, the leaky ceiling. Do you think it should... Uh, or it still could be safe? Jacob said it was a family heirloom. It would be good to good to honor it i think so yeah i think that there's no problem with doing that that sounds honestly pretty cool so let's see are we going to be doing a sword now we're going into the house into the house hang on a second i just want to come over here real quick i just want to like look <laughs> i just want to look i just want to look over here i just like how the game looks honestly i wonder if we're going to restore that giant tractor there how cool would that be anyways Let's grab this sword. Yes. Oh. We have not been in here yet, have we? Oh. Okay, the door just shut by itself. A little creepy. We'll, 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 we'll be the first to say it. How is that? Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful. I don't know why I like just... I don't know. It just looks really good in here. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. Uh, good job. Okay, anyways. All right. All right, so we have this nice sword. All right, we got this big old sword. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. Now, I'm thinking colors already. Uh, out of my head here, I'm thinking colors. So a Polish cavalry Yulon saber dated to the Napoleon uh, Napoleonic at Wars. Ironically, much shorter and smaller than the actual sabers held by cavalrymen. This one was issued to cannon and artillery squads as a close quarter self-defense weapon. Again, sounds freaking awesome. So we're going to take this apart. Okay, wow, look at this thing. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like, I am, like, slightly, like... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it just... They did a good job on the models in this game. That's all I got to say they did. But to, like, uh, do any of this... Any pulley pulley action? No. Any spanning action? Any screws? Yep, there's a screw on the bottom. I would have no idea. Okay. Top here. There we go. Take that. All right, cool. Very simple, very easy. Not going to be too difficult to do. I'm going to give it a nice scrub down. Now, take a look at this. We can also buy a detergent. So a chemical agent used to dissolve surface dirt, oil, and similar uncleanliness. Uh, do you want to buy it for $10? So we have $80. Might as well just buy it, right? Let's just buy it just to see how this, you know, works. It is a mechanic, right? Will this be faster than the the brush or this freaking uh, sponge? I don't know, maybe. So I think what you want to do is you want to do that and then go with a towel and scrub it right off. I mean, I don't know. It feels faster, potentially. So you go back to the next, you go here, grab that, spray it off. I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if I can go first with this. So can I just like spray stuff first? I'll spray everything down and then I'll wipe it all down. I'll come back and wipe it all down. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down, wipe. And there we go. We'll just spray it all down. Um, I don't need to do those. Grab the cloth out, pull out this, and then just simply go right on through. So satisfying. <laughs> hey, come on. I Maybe I didn't get enough. I don't know. I, there's a part of me that says, you know, the, the, the sponge is still efficient, maybe. This towel does 
take off a big chunk, but there is potentially, uh, you could definitely potentially like miss a spot, right? Like right now. And then I guess that's where the sponge comes in. Because you're, you're scrubbing all, all the way anyways. There we go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Perfect. Okay. Right. Put it down. Let's go on over to the sander. Uh, so this is the other thing that was that was saying earlier was that there is a, another item and this is a tear the paint from surfaces faster than using a sandpaper. This is an angle grinder, which is fifty dollars, probably one of the most expensive little hand tools that we can get. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it just because, just to see, um, and uh, and we'll go from there. So let's see, can I use it on this? Oh my god! Yeah, all right. Hey, well. Let's be honest, this is a lot faster. But I was not expecting it. <laughs> That's funny. Now, it looks good progress wise, wise, right? There we go. There we go, put it down. Yeah, this is an interesting little device, yeah? It doesn't logistically need to like hit the blade perfectly. All we have to do really is put the cursor where it needs to go. That's that's pretty much it with this thing, right? I don't know. It is a little weird. <laughs> it is. But it makes this process a lot faster. At least. It should because it was like a lot of money. 50 or what was it? $50? Yeah, $50. There we go. Polish that off. Very good. Okie dokie. Let's move on over to the paint. Yeah. All right. So zero items of paint. Oh, so we're not painting it out at all. All right. I respect it. You know, keep it in line. All we had to do was clean it up. That was it. Okay. Very easy. Very, very easy. There we go. We'll do that. Do that. Nice. It actually says something on there. That There's something written on there. That's pretty cool. Anyways. Oh. Just a little more. Hey, kid. What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, Grandpa. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Hunting for cookies, are we? The sword. I just wanted the sword. The sword? Oh, that's a saber, boy. Not a plaything. It's sharp, and you could hurt yourself. Sorry, Grandpa. <sighs> I'll show it to you. Promise me that you won't try to play with it, okay? I promise. Oh, so your great-grandfather used it. He was an Ulan in the Polish army, you know? Ulan? Yeah. Come, sit here with me, and I'll tell you the whole story. That's interesting great grandfather so if you think this game is in 2017 this happened 20 years ago so you're thinking that maybe this was in the 90s maybe late 80s and then his that was your grandfather so your grandfather would have been born probably around in the 1930s ish 20s 30s possibly 40s his father probably would have been born into like the 1900s maybe 1800s so i'm trying to like get like like the late late 18 like 1890 at the max right i'm trying to get like my head wrapped around all that to see where um how the time scale does work i mean not work but where it is landing here all right well that was very good let's go to end the day yes 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 very good day uh we are now on the next day we have clint paxton and maurice bigham uh clint paxton Hello, so you take commissions for repairing things, yeah? I got a 50s fireman axe that's collecting rust and dust. I forgot all about it, and it turns out to belong to my great uncle who got a presidential recognition award for bravery. I figured it'd be a good idea to honor the man, restore his fire axe, and donate it to the Hick 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 Hinkley Fire Museum in Minnesota. Word of warning, though, it's surprisingly heavy. I know they use different materials nowadays, but I'm pretty sure this bad boy is all-American steel. None of these... None of those Namby Bambi, Namby Pamby modern mixed alloys, but good old fashioned Tuxton. Um, can you give it a good shine? I'm sure the folks at the museum would love it. 
Absolutely, that sounds amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick up a couple of requests here to see if we can do multiple ones here. So good day to you. This is from Maurice. Good day to you. I have an old bee smoker that requires the attention of an experienced renovator. Now I would like to underscore that while the item will not be operational without exchanging most of the original parts, especially leather, I would like you to save every last bit that you can. I intend to donate it to a museum in New York close to where its uh, inventor is. Moses Quinby was born. You see, the smoker, Quinn B, uh, sound just like Quinn, Queen B, which I find amusing, invented has never been patented in any way. So the model you see is one of many copies appearing across the second half of the 19th century. Mr. Quinby uh, always believed in helping people altruistically, altruistically without personal gain. And by donating a refurbished item, I want to follow in the footsteps of his of that tradition. Of course, I will pay you for all the expenses, hard work and dedication. Uh, kind regards, Maurice. Cool. So we have a uh, smoker and we have an axe coming in now. And it's funny that both items are, are, are going to be donated. Like, who planned that, right? I don't know. But let's see here. Can we get both items now? Yes. Yeah, so we want the axe. Can we take all? Yeah, take all. So we have the axe and the smoker. Should be fairly easy to do. Should be like easy to put out here. Uh, this is like mostly a money thing. So $20. So we can make $30 from both of these. That's good to know. So first things first, the firefighter axe, which I love. Uh, just take it apart. Very simple. And then scrub it down. Also very simple. Yep. Get that grime off. It's a little satisfying. I do have to say it is very satisfying. Make sure it's all super soaked. Very well. And then let's scrub it down. Scrub it down. And then that sandpaper, we're going to... Well, we're not going to blast... Well, <laughs> we're going to grind it. We're not going to blast it. We're going to grind it. There we go. First thing done. Get this nice... Whoa! Oh, wait. That's the color of the soap. I was like, whoa, this is like all a steel handle. Nope. It is a wood handle, my good man. A wood handle. There we go. Place this all through. Put it all through here. Excellent. Okay, now scrub it down. I, I think I do like this process better than the sponge. I don't know if it is quicker than doing the sponge, but I do like it. It's more satisfying to me, at least. There we go. Nice. All right, let's move on over to the sander. And then let's bring out this big bad boy. The grinder. And let's send it. Good God. And that is what I'm talking about. Look at that. I don't think you would actually do this in real life. Not with a grinder, at least. Not to an axe. But here we are. <laughs> Makes it faster. And I don't think he's going to want this painted. So it's going to probably stay in its original estate. Which actually is a quick, easy 20 bucks for us. Very, very easy 20 bucks. There we go. Looking brand new, practically. Just about done. Oh. I can see like the, it, I know it's like the effect of the grinder, but you can see like the, um, the dirt kind of just spurting off there. Oh, he does want it painted. Oh, the wood. Oh, this is interesting. Um, for an ax, you got to go firefighter red. Like it's a firefighter ax, make it red, right? I don't know. I was thinking black, like a black handle. And this might look ridiculous. But um, I think Firefighter Red. Why not? All right, let's see here. There we go. All righty. See, look at... See, this, this is what I'm talking about. The spray can, it doesn't feel as quick... Like, it doesn't feel faster than the, uh, than the paintbrush. But there we go. That's done. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put it together now. First things first. Put that to... Yep, come on. Boom and boom. I mean, it looks kind of cool. It does. Okay, next. Let's get this bee smoker now. So these old bee smokers were used for beekeeping to funnel the smoke into their hives to calm them down or drive them away so you can look inside without getting swarmed. Okay? This should be very easy as well. This is not too too complicated. Take that out. Of course, I say that now. Maybe a spanner. Yep, inside. I got the actual... Yep, take out that. There we go. Anything else? Probably a little bit of other stuff, but with the screwdriver, maybe? Let's see. Nope. 
Polar? No? Spanner? How am I supposed to see that, dude? And how am I supposed to get to that? I guess inside? Oh, yeah. Right there. I see. Uh, like, one more spanner, please. One more. One more. One more, I think, right? Nope. Okay. That's fine. And take those out. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay. Good job. Now, I'm going to do the same process here, and I will spray this thing down. Always a big fan of honey. You ever go to, like, the grocery store and, like, get those, like... Sometimes they have them, like, at checkout. I think it's maybe a seasonal thing. I don't know. But they have, those, like, those sticks. Right? Those, like, little, like, those little sticks of honey in plastic. And then, you like, you just cut off the top and you just suck on the stick. And, like, kind of splurge it into your mouth, right? I know how that sounds, but... Um, those are always so good. Really good. Never been, never been stung by a bee. Don't know how that is. I assume painful. <laughs> I assume. I don't know. It's weird. It's like I've like been around so many bees before, and but never got stung. So how do people? How are people getting stung? Like, are they like? Is it their fault? Is it secretly their fault? Like, are people like just deciding to like try to like? fight the bees and then they just lose and then they like sit there and they say oh yeah no i you know i didn't do anything to the bee i was just minding my own business yeah okay maybe you were the one antagonizing the bee <laughs> maybe you deserve this the sting after all <laughs> maybe it's all on you i don't know i just never understood it <laughs> Because, like, I, you know, bees, I've, I've, I've swatted at a bee, they, you know, go at my face, bam, swat it, come at me. But never, they have never tempted. Now, I know bees, um, once they sting you, they die, right? They're, they're dead. So, I mean, you really have to piss off a bee, right? Unless you got to think, you really got to piss off to piss off a bee to be like, okay, you know what? This guy made me so angry that I am going to end my life. And sting him. And I'm going to show him. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a defense mechanism, yeah? But it's not really good at defending it, th its own self. Imagine having a defense mechanism where it took your own life. Like, ee, that's not good. There you go. Cool. Wow, oh, it has a little bee emblem on it. A little bee engraved on it. I like that. I do. There we go. Now, I guess you have to pick and choose which items are good to do grinding on and, and so forth. This doesn't seem as efficient. Like, it probably would be a better idea if I just pulled out the filer myself, right? Because, like, especially, like, these inside, like, how am I supposed to do this in real life? You're not. You're not supposed to do this in real life. But at least the game is gaming right now, so I'm able to just slide it in there, right? And the bottom obviously needs some work done. There we go. Let's grab this. There we go. And I think I'll be able to, like, paint it. And you can't get mad at me about how I'm going to paint it. You really can't. You already know what color scheme I'm going for here. Yeah, that's right. Black and yellow. It's a B. It's a smoker. It has to have a little bit of black and yellow on it. Come on now. I'm sorry, when there's, when my options are very limited, and I have, like, nine colors to work with, I can only do so much. There we go, and that is it. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and paint it. Here we go. Spray paint. So we only have two of... So I, I'm going to go yellow on the base, because I'm hoping that pops out the B. A little bit or the bee pops out a little bit on this engravement and it doesn't seem like it's going to <laughs> but I'm gonna go yellow on the base and then on the top I'm gonna go black I think that would be a good old thing good old thing oh yeah I didn't I totally forgot that this is gonna be a museum item so I wonder if they're gonna appreciate this being all weird they're probably like uh you know just a simple black one would have been fine maybe even a white one would have been fine and I said no it needs to be the same color as the bees 
But this is, again, another easy, quick $30. Even the freaking, um, even the, uh, fire, the firefighter hatchet, you know, easy, easy 20 bucks. And that was still going in a museum too, right? That was, or that was being donated. But that was red. That, 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 that looked okay. That looked pretty good. This one might look a little silly, but maybe people will enjoy it nonetheless. Almost done here. Come on, give me the side. I don't think it looks that bad. Yeah, I don't think it looks that bad. It'll look good. Okay, let's put it together. Uh, there we go. Actually, we need the spanner. That put there, put that there. Even the little bit of silver that goes along with it is not too bad. Yeah, that's that's all right. For sure, for sure. I think that's all right. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get our payment, I guess, right? So system, claim. Now, I did do the other one, and it doesn't have a system claim here. So hopefully we got both of them. Hopefully that one claim was for two... Uh, two items there. So let's go to September 9th. Okay. And we got more people with uh, with our grandma. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Workshop Simulator. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. Hope to see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always. Take care. Hey.